So today we are going to discuss the problem minimum number of swaps uh, and the problem statement is something like this. Given an array of n distinct elements, we have to find minimum number of swaps required to sort the array in strictly increasing order. Let's take an example. We have an array 2, uh, 2, 8, 5 and 4. We will swap 8 with 4 and our array would become sorted like this. 2, 4, 5. Eight. Let's take another example. We have an array like this 10, 19, 6, 3, and 5. We will swap 10 with 3 and swap 19 with 5. Uh, so we will end up having a sorted array like this. Let me take a more complicated example. We have an array like this 10, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So after sorting, this would look like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, and 11. So what we have to do is we have to do swap 10 with 2. We have to swap 2 with 11. We have to swap 11 with 1. We have to swap 1 with 10 we have to and we have to swap 5 with 3 so you can clearly observe that these elements are interconnected and they end up forming a cycle like this 10 is connected with 2 2 is connected with 11 11 is connected with 1 And one is connected with 10. So we have a cycle like this and we have a cycle like and we have also another cycle 5 and 3. 5 and 3 are also interconnected. So we have two cycles. If we resolve these two cycles, we will end up having our uh, array sorted. This is cycle 1. This is cycle 2. So let me show you what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's swap 10 with 2. We'll swap 10 with 2. Our array will then our array, then our array will look like this. Now let's swap 2 with 11. Then our array will look like this. This is first pass, this is second pass. Yeah. Now we will swap 11 and 1. We will swap 11 and 1. So as you can see, we have placed all the elements in cycle 1 at their correct position. Now let's move to cycle 2. We have to swap 5 and 3. So after swapping, 5 and 3 are array will finally become sorted. And we are done with it. Uh, so let's make an uh, important observation here. If we have n elements in a cycle, we can resolve that in n minus 1 swap. For example, in cycle 1, we had 4 elements. But after making three, three swaps, we came to know that our, uh, all the elements are placed in their correct position. So what's the general observation? 
if we have n elements in a cycle, we can resolve that cycle in n minus one swaps. So remember this point. We'll use this point in the later implementation part. So now let's move to the implementation part. Uh, so before doing the actual sorting, we have to preserve the original indices or positions of the array. Uh, for example, before sorting, if our array is like this, then we will store the positions of the elements we also store the position of elements with it like this we will make a vector we will make a vector or array cut so now let's move to the implementation part so before doing the actual sorting what we will do that we will preserve the original indices of the elements for example if our element, uh, if if our array is this, 10, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, we will also store the original indices with it before sorting, so that after sorting, when our array becomes sorted, uh, like this, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, and 11, then we would also have the original indices with it like this 6 5 4 3 2 0 and 1 uh, we are achieving this like this we will we, we, we first make an vector we will first make a vector or array of pair type we will push the element along with this along with this index in the vector we'll push that into the vector and then we will sort the array after sorting the array would look like this and now the actual actual cycle part that i was talking about begins now the actual uh, but now we have to resolve the cycles, each cycle. For example, these are the old indices and these are the new indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. From 1, we'll go to the 6th index. From 6th uh, index, we'll go to the 1st index. From the uh, first index we will go to the fifth index. Uh, from fifth index we will go to zeroth index. So this is a cycle. At each step what we will do that uh, we will we'll also maintain a visited array, visited array or vector. If that element is already visited or our current element is already in its place then we will just continue. Otherwise, we'll traverse the cycle. Like if we have uh, this current, if uh, if this is a current element, then we'll mark this element as true in visited array, or we'll mark this element as visited, and we'll move to the uh, to the next element which is point which it points to in the cycle. We'll move to the next element which it, point, which it points to in the cycle that is 11 and we'll continue the process and increment our count for the entire process while we'll end up traversing the complete cycle and then each step we'll increment our count and finally for that cycle we'll have our answer at cycle minus one we previously discussed that if we have n elements in a cycle then we'll end up making n minus one swaps. That is what we are doing here. And we finally return the answer. If you want to see the code, you can see that. If you want to see the code, 
this is the actual code. Let us run this code. So you can see that uh, we have passed all the test cases and this code is running perfectly fine. Thank you.